Hi everyone, it's Kylie here and today we have a great 7 minute fat burning cardio workout. This is an awesome one to get your heart rate up and really target and tone that core. You have 12 moves, 30 seconds on and 10 seconds off. It's a really fun one. So if you're ready, grab your mat and let's get started. Okay, let's get this workout started. Let's go with your first move, your first 30 seconds, which is your alternating knee lifts. 30 seconds of alternating knee lifts. Now this is a really great way to get the blood pumping, get the whole body warmed up. If you want to take it a little lower, you can take that jump out in between. Just keep those knees driving up high. Keep those arms nice and strong. And get ready to really have some fun for these next seven minutes as we burn some fat and trim and tone. Fantastic work. Transitioning now to your second move, which is your front kick. So for this, you really want to engage that core and then kick it out in front. You can keep that foot flexed out in front. Keep that core strong. Really enjoy this one. For getting the day thus far, really getting into this time for yourself now to work that body and have some fun. Doing so well. Fantastic work. Now we're taking it down on the floor into your up, up, down, down. So starting from a strong plank, you can either be on your knees or on your toes. Off you go. 30 seconds of up, up, down, down. So for this one, you're really wanting to keep that core nice and strong. Try and keep your body in a nice straight line. Try not to have your butt sticking too far up. Keep your head as a nice extension of your neck really replacing your elbows with your hands and down again up up down down fantastic work now we're going to stay down there and head into your low lunge opens give your wrist a little rotate and up back into that plank and off you go with 30 seconds of the low lunge opens this is a really nice one to really stretch out the legs Work the chest, work the core. Keep that upper body working too. You're doing so well. Awesome work. Now we're heading back up into those front kicks but with a squat in between. So you're going to have a hip whip squat and then kick it out in front. 30 seconds, off you go. This is a really good one to tone the legs. Keep that cardio going as well. That's the way. You're doing so well. A really good total body workout. Getting it all done. Great job. Well done, now we're heading back to the triceps. Down for your tricep push-ups. This can be on your knees or on your toes. Great job, off you go. 30 seconds of tricep push-ups. The important one for this one is that the elbows are going straight back behind you. Shaving your shirt. That's the way. Keep them pushing straight back. Try and keep your body in a nice straight line. You'll really feel this one. It won't take long to feel it. Awesome work. Well done. Stretch out those wrists if you need to. And we're going to be transitioning now to your down dog to your up dog. So push back into a nice downward dog and then through into your up dog. Back into the down dog and then through with control. So it's not about speed, you know, you find a pace that works for you. You're going for a full body experience here. You really want to feel your body stretching out in that down dog and engaging the core as you come on through. It's such a wonderful functional move. Great work. Now we're keeping the core going here, transitioning now into a 30 second plank hold. 
It can either be on your elbows and knees or up on your hands and toes. Off you go, 30 seconds, plank hold. Trying to hit that body in a nice straight line. Your head looking forward, a nice extension of your spine. Try not to lock out those elbows. And really use your breath here. In through the nose and then slowly out through the mouth. Fantastic work. You'll need your breath for this one. We're going into your squat tap jumps. This is a really great cardio hit. Off you go. Squat tap jumps. Now if you're really wanting to keep it lower impact today, then by all means you can stay into your steady squat. Otherwise, take it up, tap those toes and land safely in between. Keep those knees behind the toes as you land and you'll really feel the legs burning, the cardio happening with this one. You're almost there, fantastic work. Catch your breath. Now we're heading down into your slow motion mountain climbers. Back into that strong plank and then driving that knee in with control. So we're taking it a little bit slower so that you can really focus on that core strength as you bring that knee in. That's the way. You're doing so well. Fantastic work. You've just got two more moves to go after this. You're almost there. Well done. Now into the second last move, which is your rotating push-up. Back to that upper body. You can either be on your knees or up on your toes for this one. Go with whichever option is going to allow you to have the most core stability, the most core control. Wonderful work into your push-up and then rotate around, keeping that core nice and strong. Fantastic work. Such a good one for your upper body, for those arms, your chest. Well done. Now you've just got one move to go, which is really going to get that core again and get those obliques for you, which is your hip dips. Off you go, your last 30 seconds of hip dips. Again, really tuning into that core. Trying to keep it nice and stable and steady and going at a pace again that allows you to keep that control. Really pull that belly button up into your spine. Keeping the body nice and long. Wonderful work and you are done. You should be so proud of yourself for taking this time for yourself today. Thanks so much for working out with me. I hope you've had some fun. I'll see you next time.